Well, I've been busy in the last couple of months. I've uh, been going on a listening tour to talk to people at the council, to members of the council, to other stakeholders. Um, I've been in Geneva, in Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, I've been out to Seattle. I've been all over the place and really uh, listening and learning from people about what the council does and what they'd like it to do. I've been very impressed with the energy, the enthusiasm, the expertise of the council staff, and so I'm really looking forward to working closely with them over the coming months. Uh, and I was also uh, very uh, pleased to learn that, uh, that our members really feel that they are getting value from the work the Council is doing. Uh, and of course what we try to do is to make available information and resources and to bring people together in ways that will help the entire alliance that's uh, in the Council's membership uh, to do a better job of improving health around the world and of saving lives uh, and uh, also of, uh, of helping uh, with questions of uh, health inequalities around the world. We're besieged with opportunities. There's, this is just a terrific time for, uh, for work in global health, and I think everybody involved in the field is really excited. You know, there are billions of new dollars available. Um, uh, the U.S. government has announced a major new global health initiative and uh, has made a major commitment of funds over the next six years. Um, there's just uh, work going on, on on many fronts. Um, at the same time, that creates a challenge because uh, you know, it, uh, you'd have to be on another planet not to know that there's an economic crisis right now. Uh, and so uh, you know, at a time of crisis, um, uh, public sector um, donors and, uh, and people who are responsible for managing global health programs are really going to have to look at, at tightening their belts in some ways and, and some of the broader implications of the financial crisis aren't yet entirely clear. But I think that that actually, in a, in a way, is an opportunity in itself because, you know, people have been advocating, as the Global Health Council has uh, for a long time, for more money for health because there are still many challenges that are unmet. Um, but I think what will happen, and, and I think uh, we'll certainly do our best to contribute to these discussions, is that people are going to be looking for more health for the money. I think the best way to do that is to draw on the collective expertise of our diverse membership around the world. I don't think there's any question in global health that somebody among our members doesn't know the answer to. And so uh, from my viewpoint, uh, you know, sitting where I do now uh, in the council, um, the opportunity is to find ways to draw them in, to understand uh, what they know, to disseminate that information, and that will then lead to improved practices throughout the global health community. Well, right now, as, as always, the challenge is finding the resources to, uh, to do what needs to be done. Uh, and I think that uh, you know, there are a lot of, uh, of efforts uh, underway, uh, both in the U.S. Congress, the U.S. administration, um, in the multilateral world, uh, there are efforts to find uh, so-called innovative sources of funding for global health. So there's a lot of discussion going on around that, uh, and that will continue. Um, the other challenge, really, uh, with the number of different uh, donor agencies, the number of different uh, NGOs, the number of different companies, the number of different players in general who are involved in global health, there's going to be a real challenge to understand how to coordinate all of that work. The way that the council is going to um, approach these challenges, um, because you know, even though we have a broad reach, um, you know, we have finite resources like everybody else. And I think that there are two things in particular that we're going to be looking to do more of. Uh, and one is to leverage our activities so that we really, um, you know, uh, if we, uh, you know, begin to uh, write uh, about information on a blog, we'll make sure that that's available in other ways to other people. We'll make sure that we really um, uh, use all the resources at our command to uh, get information out to those uh, those who, who need it. And then uh, the other thing we'll do in addition to leveraging uh, our activities and our resources is really looking for more alliances with our members and with other organizations. Uh, because if we can find ways to work with people who uh, really share our commitment to the same issues, we'll be able to do more together than any of us can do alone.